All right, Teleode champs and yes, have a look at the CXPS 15, XPS 17, baby. Yes, I've ordered my 15. Oh, God, the price is here. Anyway, let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to tell you why you might want to get the old XPS 15 over the new XPS 15 and 17. I mean, the new XPS 15 and 17, they look so amazing. They look so modern. They look so beautiful. I mean, only time will tell if they're any good. We're going to have to test them out. But they look like amazing laptops. But new is not always best. What's best is what suits you best. And it may just be the old XPS 15 is better for you. So in this video, I'm going to go through all the reasons why you might want to get the old XPS 15 over the new XPS 15 and 17. And going through this list, I did not know there were so many reasons why you would actually want to get the older one than the new one. Actually quite shocked. And I probably missed something too. So make sure you use the comments and actually tell me why you would want to get the older one. Right next to the like button and subscribe. So make sure you subscribe because you want to see my future content on the XPS 15 and 17. Woof. So let's get into it. Why would you want to buy the old one over the new one? Well, I think the first easiest thing to say is price. I mean, you can pick up the 7590, the current one or the old one, whichever way you want to look at it. I'm just going to say it's the old one for now. You can pick up the old one on sale, 15, 20%, no problems. Like I'll leave a link in the description to the cheapest price I can find. I mean, yeah, look at these prices on the Australian site for the new ones, wowzers. Like I can't believe how expensive they are. And yeah, it's new, but I mean, they've got a problem where, you know, $6,400 for a 64 gigs. Yes, all right, it's got 64 gigs, but it only has one terabyte and it's only got the six core i7. It doesn't have the eight core. That is just eye water in price. And a pro tip is if you order from Dell's site, just go to the chat. They'll work out a deal for you. You typically can get off new products at least 10% off. If you get something good, maybe 20% off, but always go through the chat. You're going to get a deal. Sometimes if there is already 20% off, they won't give it to you, but most of the times you can get it done. But anyway, there's a big difference in price here. So I guess that's the first easy reason why you might want to get the old one. Now, a lot of these things I'm going to go through are actually based on comments I got in the description. And one that comes up a lot is OLED. If you want OLED, you can only get it on the old XPS 15. You can't get it on the XPS 17. You can't get it on the XPS 15. Now, the reason for that is there's only one OLED panel on the market at the moment. It's a 16 by 9, 15 inch Samsung panel. Everybody uses it. There's no other OLED panel. And with the old XPS 15, I chose the LED touch. I do prefer LED. I've gone into reasons why before, but some people are not having it. They want OLED and you can only get it in the old XPS 15. And yeah, OLED is amazing. Those deep blacks, the pop. I have no doubt the displays in the XPS 15 and 17, the new ones will be amazing. But if you want OLED, you want that pop, there's only one way to go. And a lot of people are saying that in the comments, like it doesn't have OLED, I'm not getting it when talking about the new ones. Another thing with the display is I actually got comments saying I want 16 by 9. <laughs> I don't want 16 by 10. Man, I'll always take 3 by 2, 16 by 10 any day. But everyone's different. I mean, my wife uses a touch bar on a Mac. I've never even used it once, apart from volume and stuff. She loves it. I hate it. And some people just want 16 by 9, whether it's a game thing or whether it's just viewing content without black bars or maybe just having a smaller footprint. Some people want 16 by nine, and the only way you're gonna get that is with the old XPS 15. And another comment I got quite a lot is, no USB type A, I'm not getting it. it. Has to have USB type A, and I understand that. I've moved everything I have onto USB-C. If I can replace the cable, I replace it, but some things are fixed. You cannot replace the cable, and you'll have to use an adapter, and the new ones are all Thunderbolt 3 and USB type C. So if you need USB type A, the only option is the old one. And remember, a lot of people take these things out and about into universities, education institutions, and just workplaces where they have to do presentations and they need legacy ports. They need USB type A. You forget your dongle, you're done, right? And I've done it before. And it's a big headache when you do do that and your computer's pretty much rendered useless unless you can get a USB type C adapter to USB type A. So the only option here is to get the old one if, if you want USB type A. And that leads me into HDMI as well. 
you do get an adapter with the new models, the 15 and 17, but having HDMI on the side of a laptop is so useful. It's great that you can use the Thunderbolt for that. But again, when you're out and about going to institutions, education, doing presentations, whatever, you're most likely going to have HDMI and some even have VGA. Believe me, they still have that. And you forget the adapter again, you're screwed. So having HDMI in the system is just going to be that much better for certain people. So yeah, how am I going here? i still got a few to go. Wi-Fi is soldered in on the new XPS 15 and 17. And it comes with the Intel Wi-Fi. Now they're going to go to a Qualcomm one eventually. That one's going to be better. It's going to be more power efficient. And in actual fact, I'll probably end up returning the XPS 15 I get and wait until the Qualcomm comes out because I want the Qualcomm modem. I know it's going to be better. Might not be as fast, but it's going to be more power efficient. That's for sure. But you can easily upgrade the Wi-Fi on the XPS 15, the old one. Just go in there. It's like an M.2 slot. Take it out. Put a new one in. Woof you're ready to go. And I guess I can't blame him for soldering in the Wi-Fi, especially on the 15 inch. It's really jam packed in there. There's not that much room. But if you're going to be keeping this laptop for, you know, five years, in a couple of years, you might want to upgrade the Wi-Fi module and a particular Wi-Fi module just might not play cricket with your current Wi-Fi setup. So whatever Wi-Fi router you got, a lot of people blame like, you know, oh, this killer one, it drops out and that. It's mostly because of your Wi-Fi router. You probably haven't updated the firmware in it or whatever, or it's just old and it just plays up with new Wi-Fi devices. So that's a pro tip. <laughs> upgrade your Wi-Fi router or at least upgrade the firmware in it. Another reason why you might want to get the old XPS 15 is battery life. Now, we don't know the battery life of the new models, but based on my experience and I've seen how much watts the actual displays use. If you actually look at my last video, you can see how many watts. It's like 10 watts or something for that 4K display. It's really power hungry and you only get an 86 watt hour battery which is not small by any stretch, but if you've got a 4K display and it's 4K plus now, I'm pretty much assuming, based on my experience, the battery life's not going to be as good on the new XPS 15 as the old one. Now you do get new, more power efficient CPUs, but the display is number one responsible for battery drain. So the new one probably will have worse battery life than the old one because the old one has a 97 watt hour battery and it's been tuned a bit more. The BIOS is more along and stuff like that. So... And that actually leads me on to another thing is most of the things have been ironed out with the old XPS 15. So the 7590, it's had many BIOS revisions and over the years they've refined the motherboard and stuff like that. It's not a completely new platform. So it's going to have less issues than the new one. The new one, I can guarantee it's going to have bugs. It'll be fixed within the first whatever so many months with BIOS upgrades. But sometimes there's things that can't be fixed. And that's a possibility with the new ones. You never know. With the older one, we know what it is. I've never had problems with the 7590 with anything. Once I upgraded the BIOS, pretty much all the issues were gone and it was super stable and it just worked like a beast. And that can be said for the model before that and 9560, was it? Yeah, same with that one too. So the new one probably will have issues, especially in the first few months. Most of them will get ironed out, but there could be potentially issues that cannot be resolved and probably will need a motherboard revision in a year or so. And that's the thing with every new product. I mean, I've got the G4 here i'm getting black screens sometimes the usb doesn't work i have to restart it with the black screen it's a new platform i expect that i told people going into the g14 some of those things are going to happen now that will probably be fixed with bias but sometimes you can't now another reason why you might want to get the old one is i don't think there's going to be a night and day difference between performance from the old one to the new one certainly cpu wise virtually yeah don't even worry about it. CPU-wise, it's not going to be better. Now, it depends on its thermal limits and what the package limit is. The current one's 56 watts. I watched one of Linus's videos and they said it was 50 watts on the new one. So it might even be worse on the CPU side. Wait for me to test it, of course. I will tell you the wattage limit there. But certainly CPU-wise, I don't expect a great deal of difference. The GPU, yes, it will be a bit more powerful, but it's not going to be a great deal more powerful. It's still 4 gigabytes. It is faster. It's a 1650 Ti versus a 1650. Yeah, I expect a little bit of performance gains, but just think of it. If you have a certain budget, 
you might not be able to afford the 8-core version of the XPS 15, but with the old one, you might be able to get the i9 and 8-core. Then that will be faster than the new one because in your budget, you could get the 8-core versus the 6-core. So that's one thing you've got to consider there. I think I'll wrap it up there. Leave the comments down there of things I may have missed there. Also, second hand. What's wrong with second hand? 9560-7590. People will probably be selling them, so get them. Get them, get them, get them. There's nothing wrong with second hand. They're my reasons why you might want to get the old one over the new one. I actually can't wait to get the new ones in. Make sure you subscribe to see those videos. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.